So hi and welcome to this Python 101 video. So uh, obviously I'm using a Mac instead of a PC this time. And the reason for that is just because I prefer Macs to uh, PCs. Um, I have for ages. I just decided I'm going to finally go get one. So I got a Mac instead of a uh, PC. Um, but other than that, the video should be the same. Uh, also, since I'm using a uh, Mac now, I'm sort of getting used to the different like settings because the software and things I use for videos now is obviously different. So uh, leave a comment or whatever, just let me know or email me or whatever, just to let me know uh, where, what the audio quality is like and the um, video quality is like, because obviously I've done loads of checks myself and I think it's uh, I think it's either the same or better as what it was, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. So just let me know in the comments or an email or whatever, just to make sure that I can make the videos the highest quality possible. And other than that, let's get, st or let's get started. So today what we're, going to, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to um, upload a file using FTP to a remote server using Python. So let's get started. So obviously I'm using Python version 3.3.3 .3. and if I go to my desktop uh, you can see here um, I have a file called test.html. So if I double click this it says this is a file uploaded using Python but obviously it hasn't been uploaded yet because it's on my uh, local machine. So now if I close that, you can see now I'm on a page at howcode.org called test.html, but it says it's not found. And this is just to prove that uh, it hasn't actually been uploaded yet. So I just refreshed, it hasn't been uploaded. Uh, so that's what file we're going to be uploading to our servers. And uh, I'm also using the interactive Python shell because it allows us to see the output of the commands as we do it, instead of uh, having to write some code and then go over to terminal and then execute the code. So in Python, there's a library called ftplib. So obviously, if we want to use ftp, we have to import that library. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called file name, and I'm going to set that equal to uh, test.html. And what this is, is this is the file name of the file once it's been uploaded to our ftp server. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called ftp, and it's going to hold an instance of the ftplib uh, class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, FTP lib dot FTP, which is in ca all capitals, FTP is, because it's the case sensitive, Python functions are case sensitive, and this is uh, the uh, function. And in here, what I want to put is I want to put uh, the host name or the IP address of our FTP server. So if I was to put in the IP address, I would say 192.81.210, whoops. 210.96 because that's the IP address for the uh, server uh, that howcode.org is hosted on. But if I use the host name, I can say ftp.howcode.org. If I hit enter, uh, whoops, ftplib. Okay, I spelled ftplib wrong. So let's just say ftp equals ftplib. Dot ftp. ftp.howcode.org. And it should that work that time. The reason it didn't work is because I said FTP here, but I said FPT up here. I just uh, spelled it wrong. So then what we need to do is since we've uh, connected to the server, we need to log into the server. So we say FTP.login. And because we that's because we stored it in the FTP variable, we can access it using the variable name dot login. So if you used a different variable, uh, if you used something other than FTP up here, you would have to change FTP down here to whatever you called the variable up here. And obviously I'm not going to use a username and a password that I'm going to keep on the server because obviously people could then just upload things and delete things from uh, howco.org. So what I did was I created a specific username and a password for this. So the user is password, or I mean Python, and the password is password. If I hit enter, it should uh, log us in. So it says user Python logged in. And then now what, we're, what we are in is we're in the uh, default root of the FTP server, which in my case is slash var slash www. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cd into the howcode.org directory. So what I need to do for that is I can't just say cd howcode.org uh, howcode because it's, uh, that's uh, not the way you do it. In Python, you have to execute the uh, command within the Python FTP library, and then uh, that will allow us to change directory. So that's easy to do. All we have to do is say ftp.cwd uh, and what we want to do is we want to put in the directory name so in my case it's highcode.org 
It says command successful, so that means we're in the hypo.org directory now. And now what I want to do is I want to say my file equals, and I will say open, and this is the file we want to upload. So uh, we have to give the full path name, so I can't just say desktop slash uh, the file name, so I have to say slash users slash Francis slash uh, desktop slash test.html. And the open function has nothing to do with the FTP library, it's just a built-in function in Python. So now if I, whoops, I almost forgot, we need to add uh, the extra parameters for whether we can read it and things. So what you want to do is you put an R and a B, and the R just means read, and then the uh, B means buffer. So it means we can send it as a file instead of just a string of text because you can't upload just a string of text uh, via FTP. So let's hit enter. Uh, that was stored successfully in the my file variable. So now we want to actually upload the file. So we want to say FTP dot uh, STOR lines. And then what we want to say is we want to say STOR because that's a command in FTP. And we want to append the variable name, uh, file name. So we want to say plus file name. We want to add another parameter to this and we want to say my file. So what this basically says is uh, store the file name which is test.html. So store test.html and then we want to, where we're going to get test.html from is we're going to uh, use the, we're going to get the file from the my file variable and we're going to upload that and store it in the, uh, or we're going to get, we're going to upload it and give it a file name of test.html. So let's hit enter. It says transfer complete, which means the file was uploaded successfully. If I go to Google Chrome and I refresh now, it says this file is uploaded, or this is a file uploaded using Python. So that means our file was uploaded successfully. And then what we want to do finally is we want to close the connection to the FTP server. So we want to say ftp.quit. And then it says goodbye, and that means we've uh, disconnected from the server. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.